Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Sam Matthew, a medical communication enthusiast, speaker, writer, editor, trader, and a researcher in scholarly publishing. So my perspective of peer review comes from my different roles that I take, such as author, journal editor, and a peer reviewer. For any of these roles, peer review is the most important step that confirms the authenticity and integrity of research. However, in my experience, peer review is one of the most inefficient or misused process in scholarly publishing. So different aspects of peer review is already been discussed at different platforms. So my focus is on the new concepts in performing peer review in the challenging or the changing scholarly publishing landscape. The research publishing community should however think about the evolution of peer review process along with changes in publishing industry. Peer review which was considered as a voluntary service to the development of scientific community is no more a free service. The peer reviewers are being paid for their service nowadays. I would like to bring into your attention two of these changes recently brought about in peer review process. One is professionally managed peer review by a professional peer reviewer and the second one is pre-submission peer review. Because of the unavailability of peer reviewers, most of the new generation journals including PLOs, Nature and Lancet employ peer reviewers to review submitted manuscript. However, I anticipate a significant difference in the outcome of the peer review comments when compared with the conventional peer review comments performed by an amateur peer reviewer who is a subject matter expert or who is an author who published in the same field. In many instances, such peer review comments are very general rather than being very specific. Usually such peer review comments are performed against a checklist that limit the scope of the review and also the editorial independence of such peer reviewers are being questioned. These peer reviews also miss the perspective of a published author in the same topic or in the same field of research. Second concern is the pre-submission peer review which is becoming very prevalent especially among the Southeast Asian authors. I have come across instances where Others mentioned in the cover letter that the submitted paper is already reviewed by a subject matter expert. So this is argued that the pre-submission peer review improves quality of the paper. There is not much transparency in the process. Unless the pre-submission peer review comments and the other responses are shared with the journal editor, unethical practices during this process could not be completely ruled out. So I request Asian Council of Science Editors and other leadership organizations in scholarly publishing to debate and deliberate on this topic and provide guidelines for meta management of these aspects of peer review while accepting and appreciating the advantages offered by professionally managed peer review and the pre-submission peer review. So I hope the upcoming ACAC conference 2020 will pave way for, um, for this activity. Thank you for the, your patient listening. Thank you.